after months of run-ins with the law and a spiraling PR crisis for Warner Brothers, Flash star Ezra Miller has decided to seek treatment to counter a self-described time of intense crisis. A week after the non-binary identifying Miller was slapped with a burglary charge by Vermont law enforcement, the Justice League alum said today in a statement that having recently gone through a time of intense crisis, I now understand that I am suffering complex mental health issues and have begun ongoing treatment. I want to apologize to everyone that I have alarmed and upset with my past behavior, they added. I am committed to doing the necessary work to get back to a healthy, safe and productive stage in my life. Related Story Amber Heard hires new lawyers for Johnny Depp trial verdict appeal, Philly firm bested Sarah Palin in recent neat libel battle. The abrupt move Monday follows at least two months of efforts by Miller's longtime CAA agent, Warner Brothers, and other close-knit colleagues, friends, and family to encourage them to pursue help. Perhaps tipping the scales, on August 7, Miller received a citation to appear in Vermont Superior Court Bennington Criminal Division on September 26 for arraignment on the burglary charge. While the scheduled release of the high-testing flash next June has never been in serious peril thus far, Miller's flurry of altercations and questionable actions from Hawaii to Iceland to Germany and the Green Mountain State have led many to wonder when the next speedy shoe was to drop. Knowing that they wouldn't have a $200 million film without Miller, who is in almost every scene of the DC pick, Warner Brothers Brass have been talking to the actor and their reps for weeks about a more proactive mental health strategy for the performer. This isn't about business, it's about a human being who is clearly in pain, one exec told Deadline Tonight of the influence the David Zaslav run company has tried to bring to Miller's situation. While the viral video of Miller apparently choking a female patron of a Reykjavik bar in April never led to charges, the actor was arrested twice in America's 50th state. One arrest in April was for second-degree assault. As well as the Hawaiian and Vermont charges, Fantastic Beasts vet Miller has faced allegations of sexual abuse. There's also been a temporary harassment prevention order they received the past few months from a 12-year-old and a mother in Greenfield, Massachusetts after they claim the actor menaced them. Additionally, the parents of 18-year-old Takata Iron Eyes filed a protection order against Miller, accusing them of grooming and brainwashing the teen, a state of affairs the girl in question has vehemently denied. Miller first appeared as Barry Allen slash The Flash in 2016's Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. They subsequently cameoed in Suicide Squad, was featured in Justice League, and made a short appearance in the Peacemaker finale earlier this year with Aquaman, Jason Momoa. The big-budget Adanby Muschietti helmed Flash wrapped late last year. Some pickup shoots were conducted over the summer this year as final post-production winds down. Variety first reported the news of Miller's mental health treatment decision today.